wholesale is where the money is, retail, it's just easy. I think I need to take the glasses off. Yeah, that's better. All right, let's talk about drop shipping and difference between the retail and wholesale drop shipping. What up? My name is Patrick. I'm the marketer. What I do on this channel, we talk about drop shipping and some other different methods of making money online. First of all, I want to give a big, big thank you for Paul Lipsky for making a reaction video to one of my videos. I got a pump in subscription after this video. So thank you, Paul, for making this video. It helped me grow my YouTube channel. Really, really cool. If you don't know, Paul is like a big person in the eBay dropshipping community. So go ahead and please feel free to check out his content. He's really good on all this stuff. He actually is the one who recently dropped the wholesale dropshipping course that I did a review last week about. So if you want to see his, his other courses that he has about eBay dropshipping, retail dropshipping, and then the wholesale one, and he also has the Amazon one, I'm going to leave the link down below. But Today, I want to talk about the difference between wholesale and the retail dropshipping on eBay. If you're completely out of the blue and you end up here by some magic of YouTube algorithm and you found this video and you have no idea what eBay dropshipping is or what dropshipping is in general, I'm here to explain it to you real quickly. So dropshipping is basically this business model when you don't own any inventory, but you sell stuff online, and whenever someone buys it from you, you go directly to the supplier and you buy it from the supplier and they send it directly to your customer who bought the products from you that you don't own. Sounds like magic. It kind of is magic. It's beautiful. Okay. That's all you need to know. It's easy. It doesn't require that much money to start. Well, it depends on the business model, which I'm going to talk about, but it's relatively easy. You can start from anywhere. It's 2020, we're in pandemic, okay? E-commerce is booming. Like the retail stores are dying. So I feel like you should at least get some sort of knowledge about dropshipping because that possibly is a growing business model in the near future. What I do on this channel, I talk about eBay dropshipping, which is like a kind of hobby experiment of mine. What I do for a living is something a little bit different. I'm in the real estate marketing niche. This is something that I do during my day. And then on the side, I try the eBay dropshipping. But my style of eBay dropshipping is the retail dropshipping, which is like a business model that's very simple to implement. Basically, all you need is an eBay account and then you go on big retail websites such as Walmart or Home Depot or Costco, whatever. And you sell stuff from Walmart on eBay with a higher price. There is also a different method, which is called wholesale, which you don't work with retail stores like Walmart, the well-known established stores, but you work with the direct supplier, someone who manufacture or someone who sells stuff in bulk that you can drop ship. What's that? Oh yeah. You have to click like button on this video before I start talking more. I'm sorry, I had to do it. It just helps me grow this channel. We're trying to go big here, okay? We want to live on the hills. So please like this video so it's more visible. So people who like content about eBay dropshipping will see it as well. Yada, yada, yada. I will stop right here and I will talk about differences. So let's start with the retail dropshipping. So retail dropshipping, it's pretty simple to do. All you need is a eBay account. You go to the big websites like Walmart. So you go on Walmart, you find an item. Let's say you pick this chair right here, right? So you pick the chair, you see it costs that much. You go to eBay, you copy the pictures, you copy the description, you change a little bit of the title and you post it on eBay with 20% markup and you wait for the sale. When someone buys it, you go to Walmart, you buy the original chair and in the address, you just put the, the address of the person that bought it and you keep the profit. Simple, right? And it's the great thing about retail dropshipping that it's simple. Doesn't require a lot of money. However, if you want to 
semi-automated or scale it, you need to buy some sort of software. The software I use is TrackerBot to keep track of my orders. If you want to check it out, I left the link down below for the TrackerBot. And you also need a subscription or eBay to have the online store, which allows you to list more stuff and with the lower fee. The lowest subscription on eBay costs like $30 a month, I believe. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly. You get lower fees on your listings, which means your profits are higher. Speaking of profits, retail dropshipping has very low margins. It means you need to sell a lot in order to make a substantial amount. So it's all about numbers. It's a number game. More listings, more possible money to make. It's scalable, but it's definitely con that, you know, on some listings you make like $2, $3 or whatever. So you need to keep listing in order to make good profit. Another con would be out of stock items. So when you deal with retail drop shipping, it's very common that they have a lot of orders. Like website like Walmart, they, they get a lot of orders during the day. And it's very common for some of their items to go out of stock. Now, usually it's very temporary it lasts maybe a day maybe a few hours maybe two three days however that impact your inventory because your inventory depends on the retail store inventory also they tend to change prices during the day. It can happen that one item costs $50 in the morning and it jumps up to 55 in the afternoon and it goes down to 40. That happens all the time. So you need to keep track of the prices because then they tend to change. And when the price jumps higher on Walmart and you're stuck with the lower one, you might go negative. So you need to keep this in, in mind as well. The way to handle this issue is to use a software that tracks the price changing. There are different softwares that you can use. I personally try both AutoDS and Skugrid. I will leave the links down below. Wholesale dropshipping on the other way, it's a little bit more harder. Well, the hard part comes with the building a relation. It's not as simple. You don't just go on walmart.com and buy a stuff. Complexity comes from two factors. First of all, you need to find a supplier a third party supplier, you have to Google them or find a list of suppliers. And you go on the supplier website, right? Try to find a product that will potentially sell and you need to build a relationship with that supplier. So you have to call them, you have to email them, you have to somehow get in touch with them and get an agreement that they will allow you to drop ship. And there's a lot of factors that go into it as well. They need to be dropship friendly. They need to have an easy return policies. When something goes wrong, you know that you can rely on them and return the, the products pretty easy. And they need to be relatively fast because no one wants to wait for their stuff that comes from China and takes like two weeks to be delivered. So there's a lot of factors that you need to consider. It's more about like looking for those gems. But even if you find one supplier that will, you know, fulfill all your criteria, you're good. You, you're set. That's all you pretty much need because the one supplier you can make higher profit margins than with retail dropshipping. Retail dropshipping is about quantity, wholesale dropshipping is about the quality. Also that relationship might allow you to have better treatment, you can get a better deal, better discounts. If you sell a specific amount of products, they might give you higher profits or something like that. Something that you need to consider when you try to start wholesale. As I mentioned before, it's definitely harder than retail because of the building relationship and finding out the supplier. But in the long but in the long term, it might be more profitable and sustainable. You don't need to worry about price changes as well because they don't change prices as often and don't go out of stock as often as the retail stores. So now is the question, which one is right for you? Well, it's up to you. As I mentioned before, retail dropshipping is pretty easy. Wholesale, it requires a little bit more work, but the profits are higher. If you want to start with something simple, go for the retail. It's pretty easy. Check out my videos about it. You will learn a lot. If you want to do the wholesale, I will recommend the course that's down below with Paul. He is really good with this and explains more. I haven't put my feet in wholesale yet. I haven't tried it yet. It's definitely on my list. I know putting my feet 
in the water or whatever i don't know this american phrase you know which one i'm talking about right you can probably comment below uh, with the proper saying but yeah it's up to you which method you think it's better and which one you want to start with all right guys that will be it for today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learn a little bit please stay safe take care and i see you on the next one okay cheers